the last episode in our Jesse Tree series today, and it's all about Jesus. We've seen ever since the beginning that God had always planned to send his son Jesus into the world. And we've thought about some of the significant people that were all part of this big plan. We've thought about those people in Jesus's family line right back to the first man created, Adam. The birth of Jesus from Luke chapter two. In those days, an order went out from Caesar Augustus to register all people in the empire for taxes. Everyone went to his own town to be registered. So Joseph went from the town of Nazareth to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was from the house and family line of David. He went there to be registered with Mary, who was promised in marriage to him and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for Mary to give birth to her child. She gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. There were some shepherds nearby living out in the field, keeping guard over their flock at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were absolutely terrified. The angel said to them, do not be afraid. Listen carefully, for I bring to you good news that is great joy for all people. Today your Saviour is born in the city of David. He is Christ the Lord. This will be the sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly a vast heavenly army appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among people with whom he is pleased. When the angels left the shepherds and went back to heaven, they said to one another, let's go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place that the Lord has made known to us. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and saw the baby lying in a manger. When they saw him, they related what they had been told about this child to everyone. And all those who heard it were astonished at what the shepherds said. Mary treasured up all these words, pondering in her heart what they might mean. So the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. Everything was just as they had been told. Today's final Jesse tree object is this cross. It might seem a bit odd to include this in a Christmas story. But it reminds us that the biggest part of God's plan for Jesus is that he would die. And that is so difficult to understand. But Christians believe that Jesus dying was to be a sacrifice for the sin that all of us do. And so that Jesus would be able to give us forgiveness when we do things wrong and help us to have that new relationship with God if that's what we choose to do. So although Christmas is all about the birth of Jesus, it reminds us too, the cross points to Jesus's death and resurrection. Here are all our Jesse Tree objects from this series. Have a look at them, and then we will see if you can remember what order they came in and who each one of these pictures represents. Have a little think. Okay, let's have a go. First was the apple to represent Adam and Eve. 
then the star for Abraham. Next was the knife for Isaac. Then the ladder for Jacob. Next, the stone tablets for Moses. After that came the wheat for Ruth. Next was the lamp for Samuel. After that, the harp for David. Then came the coins for Solomon, followed by the crown for Josiah. Then we have the scroll for the prophets. Next came the flowers for Mary. Then we have the axe for Joseph. And lastly, the cross for Jesus. How did you get on? Did you remember them all? Well done if you did. And so I wonder, what are you looking forward to most at Christmas? Have a think. We'll have a look at some pictures. Perhaps it's some of these. Maybe we're looking forward to presents. And perhaps some of us will get just what we want, but maybe some of us won't. So let's just be grateful for what we do have. And let's remember that the best things don't necessarily come wrapped up at Christmas time. Perhaps it will be a special Christmas dinner or lots of other good things to eat. And let's also remember not everybody can afford lots and lots of food and chocolate and sweets. So let's just think about those who may not have as much and let's be thankful for what we do have. You might be looking forward to watching some Christmas movies on TV. Or perhaps being able to spend time with some of our family. And let's also remember the family that we perhaps won't see this Christmas because of, of the restrictions. And let's be grateful for those who we can visit and think about those who may be on their own. And Christmas is special for Christians for all those reasons too but also because we remember Jesus coming into our world, born as a saviour, but growing up to be a man, so that we might know God as our friend. Let's finish with a prayer. Dear God, we do thank you for this exciting time of year. Thank you that we can have fun, we can enjoy food, we can have presents, but thank you most of all for sending Jesus into the world to be our best friend. Amen. And here's a Christmas song recorded by our puppet team. I hope you enjoy it.
was born to change. 